I want to discuss being a pawn. This is something that hit me yesterday, my friends, like a ton of bricks. So if you didn't watch that video yesterday, I basically said you got to have a fuck you in you and a balance between nice, easygoing, caring, compassionate, and dude, fuck you, fuck no, fuck off. That's where, that's where Lucifer and Jesus, the brothers, finally unite. Has to happen. So. Um, I also said in that video that, like, this whole God and devil thing, good and evil, light and dark, can basically be condensed into a political reference, meaning, for Demo again, this is the United States of America. Democrat and Republican. It's the same coin, flip it, call it, and pick it, because they're both on the same team, dude. Now, I'm going to give you reference points to explain this. And then explain what I'm going to say next about you're a pawn, or you were a pawn, and I'm no longer going to be a pawn. So, and I'm going to give you examples of how this is. So let's just say that what I've been claiming for three years is true, and God and, the, and Satan, the devil, insert whatever goofy name you want here, decided to start playing a game, and it was good versus evil. So, and let's just say you don't believe that, that you believe this classical shit. So, if there was one God, and that God created all, then God created the devil to play a game with itself, basically. So, what I'm inviting you to do is pull yourself up and realize neither one actually exists. It's you. It's you. You've done it. You did it, and you're still doing it. So... Where this all wraps up and links together is you're a pawn. Realize this. Now, I hate keeping bringing this up, but Jesus, dude, it's what's, you're going to be able to understand through this. Let's say that you are a Christian. Your whole entire life, you have been led to believe that you needed to be perfect and you needed to be this, like, all, all, just like this perfect person that doesn't exist and that does you don't want to be that it's like they say jesus was perfect listen i'm telling you straight up jesus wasn't perfect if he was sitting here right now he would look you dead in the eye and say dude i wasn't perfect i don't know how this shit got started take my word for it i'm just telling you so there has never been a perfect person never you don't want to be perfect do not want to be perfect and what is perfect and what dictates perfect and what decides perfect It's programming and content that has been fed to you that has led you to believe this. Hence why I said if this was another reality with different rules in play and you've been fed some other shit, it would be the complete opposite. Do you understand? So that right there should, should negate any bullshit belief and idea you have. But let's just go even further than this. Um, you're Muslim. It's been pushed on you this too. It's the same thing. Honorable, perfect... All this. And then let's go to the opposite of that. And let's go into the realm of cult, spirituality, Buddhism. So if you grew up in a Buddhist household, like, dude, they've pushed the same nonsense on you. And then what's even crazier is it's got so out of hand that they're trying to talk you into not playing video games. They're trying to talk you into not doing drugs. They're trying to talk you into not masturbating or having sex. They're trying to talk you into being more of a tyrant to yourself than you already are. Who are they? The social matrix. That is they. Um. <clears throat> so, let's go back to this pawn shit. You're a pawn. You've been a pawn. So, more than likely, if you've endeavored on this spiritual journey. I'm not even going to go there. But let's just use the word spiritual journey. You've, and you've dabbled in it whatever more than likely you're doing what Jesus did in that Bible and that was following the Father and uh, the Father, the Father, the Father doing the Father's work and all this man you're a pawn in your own game do you understand that? that's how insane this has gotten and I'm no longer going to be a pawn I'm not if you want to say we're here to raise the vibration of this planet, then you do it. I've done my part. I've exceeded that far and beyond. I don't care. 
I don't believe it. It's bullshit stories. If you want to say we're here to change the paradigm and to let the system crumble. Well, guess what? I did my fucking part and it happened. So, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to take part in your stupid game anymore, man. And I'm not being a dick. I'm just straight up telling you. So realize you've these are traps. This is a trap. This is the Jesus trap or a God trap. It's I, every single trap leads back to the God trap, and it just so happens Jesus is right up there near the God trap. So I'm just telling you, man. Women, children, whoever. I don't care. I'm gonna tell you what I want. I want my family, which I have, thankfully. And I want a bunch of money. And it's not just due to money. It's due to the freedom that comes from that money. I don't look at money like it's some shit. I look at the freedom that comes with it like it's some shit. And I'm... I'm not really interested in, in, in continuing this storyline. Not interested. If it's in my direct experience, then I'll... Yeah, dude, I want some good shit. If it's out here and it's not my direct experience, this is how fucking over it I am. For years now, I've said if you give me the option between uh, me taking care of me and me taking care of everyone, I'm taking care of everyone. But over the years, more and more I'm honest and realize this, it's I don't care anymore. Like, I, I truly want the best for everyone. I truly do. But it seems like not everyone wants to break out of this. So I'm not going to be captain save everyone i'm not going to be captain let me help you i'm not going to be captain let me tell you this and that i'm not going to get tangled up in other people's bullshit anymore so god bless and good luck um i'm going to end this with i said in that video you don't want to give lucifer control you don't want to give jesus full control so why don't you give me control and let me run this show because I'm a beautiful combination of the two, imprinted with a with, with, with a very unique fingerprint on top of it. So I'm not perfect. Don't want to be perfect. Um, I just generally have everyone's best interest at heart. But at the end of the day, I have mine at heart more. And if everyone does not live that way, they're fucked unfortunately so if given the like i said if given the option 100 percent, i would change it for everyone but if that's not an option then i'm just going to change it for myself because this has been borderline torturous i can take ownership and responsibility for my life sucking the majority of it because i was looking at it the wrong way and telling myself bullshit however i'm being very honest i don't want to i don't want to take part in this the way it has been if it's going to continue to be this way so i just don't it's just unnecessary extra bullshit it's drama it's negativity it's like go out and do shit you don't want to do to barely get by or you can go fuck some people over and get a bunch of money and then you're gonna feel bad for doing it so a rock in a hard place my friend a rock in a hard place so, I don't enjoy working 30 hours a week for like 600 bucks. I don't, I don't enjoy working 30 hours, listen to this very carefully, 30 hours a week for $600, that's not a lot of money, and that's a lot of time invested for that $600, dude. Add it up, rent, gas, bills, food. Even if you're in a two-family income, then throw some kids' expenses on there. You're fucking broke. So we'll go get a better job, Blake. Well, okay, cool. Let's go get one. Well, let's go get a degree. Take four years to do that just to make a little bit more money. Because do the math on $600 a week divided by 30 hours. Not many jobs is going to pay that. Okay, so let's go do something else for money. Well, let me go rob people, scam them, fuck them over. Or, or sell courses and shit that... that I don't think you should sell courses in because listen, if I started a course, it would be like 10 or 15 pages 
And then at the end of it, it's like, dude, this is what this is what you do and how to do it. But here's the kicker: you've got to do it yourself. I can't do it for you. However, if you'd have watched me on YouTube over the years, all this would have been free. <laughs> or just go, like I said, man. It's not hard to fuck people here. It's not, and I don't like doing it. I don't like doing it. So, rock in a hard place. And it's so crazy that everyone will defend this. You got people that make less money than me and is more miserable than me that defend this. Well, this is just the way society works. It has to work this way. And I'm just so sick of it, dude. Fuck y'all for real, though. Not all y'all, but brainwash motherfuckers. And I'm I'm not looking down on people or judging them or, or, or boohoo. You're be, here, there you go being arrogant. Niggas. I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. Fuck them. Don't know. Don't care. Are they NPCs? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> don't know, don't care. I've cut out contact with people like that, so I don't really associate with many people like that. Uh, and I'm going to end this with some with something that I don't, I'm not fond of. I'm not fond of violence. You might think that's odd, considering I used to do cage fighting, that I'm not fond of violence, but... I'm not, but at what point does violence come into play? Because I'm sick of bullies. I'm sick of motherfuckers that think it's okay and appropriate to talk to people and do certain things just because no one's gonna... Just because the only people they do it to is people that can't do anything. So... I've had a battle within me for like a week now, maybe a week and a half of going and straight fucking somebody up. But then I'm gonna feel bad about doing it because... Anyone that's actually trained in any combat knows that there's a there's a giant gap between someone that has trained combat and someone that hasn't. Then you put in the fact that this dude's like 15 years older than me and has weird medical issues, I guess, that just sporadically pop up. And then it makes you feel bad. But then you realize and understand, oh, this motherfucker is a bully that, that, that abuses women and children and talks crazy shit to people that can't do anything. Then what? So I'm conflicted, like... I'm conflicted. I guess the Jesus in me is like, dude, let it go, it'll take care of itself. But the Lucifer in me is like, yeah, because we're going to take care of it. So I'm like, well, we're going to figure some shit out. Because I ain't, I ain't... I don't know if I could live with myself if I didn't beat this dude's ass. But then I don't know if I could live with myself if I really hurt this motherfucker. So I don't know. I'd have to have. I would have to have real. I would have to have real self control and discipline not to do something beyond just smacking him around a few times and maybe choking him unconscious or or something because I literally wanted to break his arm just because I know I could. And it's like this motherfucker is gonna try to swing at me, and as soon as he tries to swing at me, I'm gonna get him down to the ground, and then from there it's like I will have my way with him. He will be like a toddler. So am I the bully for knowing I'm about to fuck this dude up pretty bad and still doing it? That's the question I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> it's a game of form of play life on me talking to you, so is everyone else. And this is what we do. We create illusions. We have an experience. We tell stories. We realize we're telling bullshit stories. And we're a pawn in a fucking weird game that we created, and we snap out of it and live life. Wake the fuck up, please, and thank you. I love you.